Hello, in this video we are going to talk about current influencer trends in the United States. As of early January 2026, the United States is navigating a challenging and rapidly accelerating influencer season. Driven by a highly mutated superflu variant, the current data reflects the sharp midwinter surge that is placing significant pressure on the healthcare system. We are going to talk about three part report detailing the current trends, severity of illness, and updated prevention strategies. The 2025-2026 season is characterized by a vertical increase in cases following a holiday period. Unlike the slower start of the previous year, this season is currently defined by the rapid spread of specific type of influenza A, H3N2. The primary dri driver of this season's intensity is a new H3N2 variant known as subclad K. This variant contains seven key mutations in its heme agglutinin surface proteins that are not present in the strains used to develop this year's vaccine. In recent lab characterizations, subclad K accounted for 89.5% of all subtyped H3N2 samples. Public health labs report that 94.7% of all positive specimens are influenza A with H3N2, representing over 91% of subtyped cases. As of week 51, ending late December 2025, influenza activity is high or very high in 32 jurisdictions. The clinical lab positivity has surged to 25.6% nationally. Region 8, meaning mountain states like Colorado and Utah, reports the highest positivity at 34.9%, while the southeastern United States remains as close second. Visits for influenza-like illness currently sit at 6%, nearly double the national baseline of 3.1%. The 2025-2026 season is tracking toward a higher than average burden with hospitalization rates matching levels not seen since 2022-2023 triple demic period. The CDC's preliminary, preliminary models for the current season show a substantial impact on the population with a total illness of 7.5 million, medical visits of 3.4 million, hospitalizations 81,000, and total deaths 3,100. The burden is not evenly distributed. The A, H3N2 strain, is historically associated with more severe outcomes in the elderly and the very young, adults 65 and above. This group currently has the highest hospitalization rate at 53.2 per 100,000 population. Children aged 0 to 4, this age group follows with 21.1 per 100,000. Tragically, eight pediatric deaths have been confirmed so far this season, with five of those occurring in the final week of December alone. The current surveillance indicates that non-Hispanic Black and American Indian Alaska Native populations are experiencing disproportionately higher hospitalization rates, highlighting ongoing disparities in vaccine access and healthcare utilization. Despite the mismatch of the H3N2 subclad K variant, public health officials stress that vaccination remains the single most effective tool for preventing death and hospitalization. 2025-2026 Vaccine Specifications all U.S. vaccines are now trivalent, covering H1N1, H3N2, and B. Victoria. For the first time, the CDC specifically recommends single-dose thiomersal free formulation for children and pregnant women. Flu mist nasal spray is now available for self-administration by adults age 18 to 49 or caregiver administration for children two years and above, allowing for easier at-home prevention.
Well, the vaccine's availability to prevent mild infection from sub subclad K is reduced, it remains highly effective at preventing severe disease. In adults, estimated 30 to 40 percent effective at preventing hospitalization. In children, estimated 70 to 75 percent effective at preventing severe complications. With high levels of resistance to older drugs, the CDC recommends the following for confirmed or suspected cases. Prescription drugs like oseltamivir, otherwise called Tamiflu, or Balaxavir, otherwise called Sofluza, should be started within 48 hours of symptom onset, especially for those in high-risk groups. Patients should remain home for at least 24 hours after their fever has resolved without the use of fever-reducing medications. Improving indoor air quality through hypofiltration or increased ventilation is being heavily promoted this season to reduce transmission in schools and offices. Thanks for watching. Please share this video with others to prevent, protect, and mitigate. Thanks again. Appreciate you all. <music>